In the Bible, we find one of the most beautiful appeal from God. It says, Today, if you hear His voice, harden not your heart. Would you like to spend this day with God? Listen to this devotional. This Day with God, a devotional by Ellen G. White. The Indwelling Christ. He that saith he is in the light and hateth his brother is in darkness even unto now. He that loveth his brother abideth in the light, and there is none occasion of stumbling in him. 1 John 2 verses 9 and 10. Last night I dreamed that a small company was assembled together to have a religious meeting. There was one who came in and seated himself in a dark corner where he would attract little observation. There was not a spirit of freedom. The spirit of the Lord was bound. Some remarks were made by the elder of the church. He seemed to be trying to hurt someone. I saw a sadness upon the countenance of the stranger. It became apparent that there was not the love of Jesus in the hearts of those who claimed to believe the truth, and there was, as the sure result, an absence of the Spirit of Christ and a great want, both in thoughts and feelings of the love for God and for one another. The assembling together had not been refreshing to anyone. As the meeting was about to close, the stranger arose, and with a voice that was full of sorrow and of tears, he told them, that they had a great want in their own souls and in their own experience of the love of Jesus, which was present in large measure in every heart where Christ took up his abode. Every heart renewed by the Spirit of God would not only love God, but love his brother. And if that brother made mistakes, if he erred, he must be dealt with after the gospel plan. Every step must be followed according to the directions given in the word of God. Ye which are spiritual, restore such a one in the spirit of meekness, considering thyself, lest thou also be tempted. Galatians 6 verse 1. He said, Remembers thou not the prayer of Christ just before he left his disciples for his long agonizing struggle in the Garden of Gethsemane, before his betrayal, his trial, and his crucifixion? See John 17 verses 15 through 23. Be careful how you treat the purchase of the blood of Christ. There will be need of plain and faithful reproving of evil works, but let the one who takes this work upon him know that he is not separated from Christ by evil works himself. He must be spiritual and restore such as one in the spirit of meekness. The spirit and character of Christ are manifested in the chosen of God by their heavenly conversation, their meekness, their blameless conduct. As many as are led by the spirit of God, they are the sons of God.